Have you ever turned up at a location and been underwhelmed? That's where I am. I've come down to have a look at the Kelpies. I've been, I've had a weekend in Scotland. I've been touring around the Trussocks because I've never been before and I want, there was a couple of places that sort of piqued my interest. So I've not been vlogging. I think I only had the camera out three times because <laughs> we've had 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts. Excuse me, I've got a hair flapping around in my eye. 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts of wind and rain in varying degrees. Today has been the first real day that's been anything like and I'm not entirely sure you can hear me because it's still blowing a flipping gale. It's Sunday, I'm on my way home. I've got one more stop to make to have a scout around and I thought it would be rather rude not to call in and see these fellas and they are ridiculously impressive. I'm not unimpressed with them. I think they're amazing. What has underwhelmed me oops, is the amount of tut that you don't tend to see in a lot of the images that you see. There's a canal behind it, which is fine. There's boats moored up. There's lampposts and a walkway and power cables. Now maybe I've never looked at the images properly, but I sure as hell don't remember seeing any of that. So, I th oh, excuse me, this wind is crazy. So I think this could also be a case of whatever I get is going to be processed to within an inch of his life. The sun is starting to set. It's probably about uh, 10 to 4, something like that. And sunset is 20 past. So we're getting some nice evening light. There's still plenty of people around, but that doesn't bother me because I'm going to be doing long exposures anyway. So the people will just disappear. We have a little bit of cloud over there. Uh, so long as the camera doesn't get blown off the tripod, we'll be all right. So I'm going to have a moach around. I'm going to do what I'm trying to do more of, which is get the camera out. Don't bother with the tripod. Don't bother with the filters. Walk around, go high, go low, left, right, portrait, uh, landscape, orientation, and see what I think works. I've got in my mind how I want the image to be finished off. No, that doesn't make sense. I've got in my mind how I want the image to appear when it's finished. So it's a case of now trying to find a composition that will allow me to achieve that end result. Well, the composition that I've gone for, you see this... Mm, that's it. This curved... Sort of curved way, I suppose. It's curved. I've got that coming in the bottom right-hand corner. And then the whole of the curve of this pavement just leading you round and up to the two kelpies. <laughs> There's, just here you can see boardwalk, like decking, and that's also curved. So that's, oh my God, that's kind of continuing the curved theme. And obviously there's plenty of curves in the kelpies. <sighs> what disappoints me and what I haven't seen on the photos that I've looked at, as I say, is the power cables. <sighs> and we've got the M. The M9 over here. It's a really weird place. I'm driving along the M9, following the signs of the Kelpies, and all of a sudden I saw them on the right-hand side. So the sat nav promptly tried to take me in the most bizarre way into an industrial estate. I found my way in, parked up, and it's a bit like the Eiffel Tower. I went to Paris, wanted to go up the Eiffel Tower, and we could see the Eiffel Tower for miles. Got into the middle of Paris and it disappeared. And I've parked up in the car park and I'm kind of looking around going, they're flipping huge, where are they? So I just followed the hordes of people and finally found them. And they are. The, the detail in them is absolutely phenomenal. They have an expression, it's, it's weird. They have an expression on their faces and it kind of changes dependent on how the light falls. I'm just going to check this ex exposure. Well, I'm happy with that. It was, let's have a look, 116.1 seconds. And that's shooting at F10, ISO 100. And there's an almost pinky glow to them. I've set the Kelvins to 10,000 because I've got the 10 stock on. 
And now I'm just waiting to see if that bit of cloud over there, oh my God, this wind, decides it wants to light up a bit. Because that would set it off beautifully well. I believe they light this place up at night, so I might hang around for a little bit longer. And there's also another shot that I've seen of something completely different about a, ooh, a quarter of a mile that way, not even a quarter of a mile. So I'm hoping that it's gonna, the dusk is gonna come through and then I can get that shot as well. I keep turning around, but the wind is just gonna deafen everybody. But it's such a hard place to get a decent composition. Just over there, there's a bridge that you walk over between, over the waters, between the two kelpies. And this is curved and it makes a gorgeous leading line to the pair of them. But then you've got that slap bang coming out of this one's nostrils, which really doesn't look good. And my cloning ability is not that good. Here, the most I think I'm going to have to do is clone some of these power lines out. Because I know they're there, but they don't add to the subject. For me, they detract. So I'm going to get rid of those. Everything else can stay. Hmm, except maybe that lovely orange boy over there. That might have to go. I have no issue with getting rid of stuff out of images. Not so sure about putting stuff in, but I certainly not, I don't mind taking stuff out. So I'm getting some very strange looks from people wandering around here. It's quieter than I imagined, although given it's a Sunday, I'm guessing a lot of people are heading home early, getting ready for school and work tomorrow. So I'm heading from here to one more stop to stay over tonight. And please let the weather forecast be right. This wind is supposed to disappear which will be an absolute godsend because I am really getting fed up with not being able to get the camera out because it's getting blown over. The novelty is wearing off rapidly. So hopefully I will see you a bit later. If I don't, I'll pop these images up. This is going to be the shortest vlog I've ever done and I'll catch you next Sunday. Bye! a helpful person somebody comes up to me and says would you mind taking a photo of the three of us as a family with a little girly not a problem absolutely not an issue at all <laughs> I went and stood right in front of my camera while I was taking a shot <laughs> oh god anyway the reason I've come back you may just be able to make out there's a slight green glow just on the bottom of this kelpie the lights are beginning to show through. It's not quite so noticeable on the far one. It's really difficult to see it pick up, but certainly on that one, that's starting to glow on the outside. It's a greeny turquoise colour at the moment. And I've, I've come back to almost my original position, but I've got the camera up high this time instead of being down low. Just for something different. You see the light catching on the side of that one? It's beautiful. And I keep thinking the wind's dying off, and it isn't. I get all excited, and then it gives a great big gust, and I nearly fall over. Well, I thought I'd catch up with you one last time before the light completely goes. You can see the lights coming up on them now, and they've also lit up all the railings, which they were doing just as I was in the middle of an exposure. Oh, excuse me, my face is frozen. The wind is now dying off, and just starting to get this reflection in the water. So I'm just having a shot at that. Yeah, can't quite get the full reflection. It's a lot darker down here than here, but it's working. Oh, we've got two swans bombing about in the water. <laughs> Having said the wind's died off, it's just picked up again. So I'm just going to move very slightly to see if I can find an, a way of getting more of that reflection in. But yeah, that's, that's amazing. And my problem is, I don't know which lighting I prefer, so I'm going to have to take one with all the different colours. My face is that cold, I can hardly move my lips. <laughs> right, I promise you fatally, this is the last shout-out from the Kelpies. <laughs>